Total alkalinity TA indicates the water's ability to buffer pH changes. Buffering means you need to use a larger quantity of chemical to change the pH. At low alkalinity levels, the pH tends to swing around wildly. At high TA levels, the pH tends to drift up. You can raise total alkalinity with baking soda, but please keep in mind, it's often best to make large adjustments in a couple of steps. A user should add a portion of the baking soda, then test the water and repeat this until the user has hit the desired level. This is because adding large quantities of baking soda can raise the pH a little and you don't want the pH going out of range. Reducing total alkalinity is done by lowering the pH, which temporarily converts some of the carbonate and bicarbonate to CO2, and then aerating the water to remove the CO2. For more information on this process, please read the article on lowering total alkalinity in pool school found in the links below. It is actually the acid which lowers TA. Adding acid lowers both the pH and the TA. Then aeration raises the pH without changing the TA. Do not use chemicals to raise your pH during the procedure unless your pH accidentally goes way too low. That will just raise your TA back up, which is exactly what you're trying to avoid.